like your world is spinning oh we'll help you get to the bottom of what causes dizzy spells it's something called vertigo and we have specialists that are here right in san diego uh the people from all over the world come to and they're going to help answer your questions and get to the bottom of it yeah one of the world's premier specialists mm -hmm. get it spinning vertigo it's all connected it's an infliction unfortunately so scary it inspired a hitchcock classic we're talking about vertigo and scary thing is, I've had it. Not fun. Dr. Michael O'Leary and Dr. Ian Purcell from um, Alvarado Hospital here to tell us about some amazing technology that you guys have where people literally come to you from all over the world to get treated. And we're so thankful to have you here today. Thanks for coming in. Renee, it's our pleasure. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we've ever encountered a person who has actually experienced this doing the interview. It's yeah. an amazing difference, isn't well, it? Well, it's, it's unbelievable. I'll tell just a little bit of my story, then, of course, we want to focus on you guys. Um, I woke up about three months ago and, you know, just like a typical Sunday and I literally had to grab the wall of my home because everything was literally spinning and I'd heard about it before but I didn't really know what it was and so once I got diagnosed and found out and started to get some treatments I was like holy cow this can happen to anybody because I'm a pretty healthy person yeah yeah it has nothing to do with your general health it can be a virus or a bunch of other things that can cause this but boy when your world starts spinning there's no other sense that you need it's the most important of all the senses that we have the sense of gravity and where we are in space right we'll talk about the technology but you guys have an amazing combination you have you both have the medical background but then dr purcell you have a specialty that really aligns you guys as the top pros in the world yeah i've got a, a phd in vestibular neurophysiology and vestibular neuroscience and mike uh, I'm a neurotologist and ear specialist. We have a principle in the management of vertigo, actually two of them. The first one is it's bigger than any one person. Usually when you see a single doctor for this, you'll get the sense of the moonwalk as they leave the room because they're not sure what's going on. And this disease is so complex, it's one of the hardest ones to figure out sometimes. Right. So having the combination is a big advantage. You said that you have folks that come to you as far away as Russia. Yep. So they come in from all over the world. It's just kind of word of mouth. Uh, they find Mike and I with their problem, and uh, they've been to local doctors, or they've been to doctors all over the country, and they ultimately find uh, Dr. O'Leary and myself. Let's talk about some of the causes, because it can range. Yes, well, that's why Dr. Brissell and I sort of tackle this as a team. Uh, on the ear side, one of the most common things, we like to talk about vertigo like a roulette wheel. And on the red side, and probably what you've experienced, Renee, is a disease with crystals in the inner ear. One item fills the whole red side of the roulette wheel. <coughs> On the other side are a host of things from as terrible as tumors to things as benign as viruses. But the nice thing is with 50% in that red slot, we can diagnose it right away. And then the second principle is first you diagnose, then you treat. And we can actually usually cure this using maneuvers that John Epley described 30 years ago. Wonderful. We only have a couple of minutes, so sure. uh, let's talk about the goggles. We'll put them on and we'll show on the computer sure. uh, what it really looks like to have it. Yeah, Dr. Purcell put these together and we put the computer with it, but this is an infrared goggle that will actually let you look at your eyes, and that's the key to diagnosis. So if you want to pop those on Got there. it. <coughs> And I'm doing much better now. It's been three months, so I'm doing, I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we'd like to see you done with this, because that's a disease. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got them on. Yep, and if you move your head, Dr. Purcell will show you Good. on the TV there. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, image appears to be a little dark, but Renee, as you move your head back and forth, there's a reflexive eye movement that we can see um, that's driven by the uh, balanced portion of the inner ear. And you can see the eye jumping back and forth here. This is what we call nystagmus. And what Mike and I do is we look at the different patterns of nystagmus to try and identify where the crystals are in the balanced portion of the inner ear. And this can be the left ear, the right ear, and one of three canals in each ear. And, and what's and so, so neat about this, Renee, is that uh, what Dr. Purcell is pointing out is that the eyes are moving reflexively, but they feel very normal to you. Mm -hmm. When those eye movements move without your head moving, it's a whole different world. Yeah, and we have a picture of what that actually <laughs> looks like because you have a patient yeah. that, that you had a pretty severe case of it. Yeah, and we're going to show a, a clip here. This is uh, a patient that actually uh, came in with uh, complaints of uh, intermittent vertigo or spinning sensation when she laid down in bed. Uh, it was devastating to her. And you can see here as we lay the patient down, this is in the dark, so she can't see anything, and we're suppressing her eye movement. So we can see the eye jumping up and down. Actually, it's jumping over to the left of the screen there or to your right. <laughs> And it's actually rotating, or what we call torsion. And that particular eye movement is consistent with crystals in what we call the posterior semicircular canal, or a little portion of the ear. 
and that allows us to identify where they are so that we can give them a specific treatment or maneuver to try and roll these things back. Right, and you have an amazing chair that you couldn't bring here today because it's ginormous, but this is an Epley chair that, what, there's six in the whole world? Yes, John Epley has just put this together, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, it's a chair that allows us to do these maneuvers in a much more simple fashion. But the reality is you don't have to have a chair to do this. Uh, the maneuvers are actually able to be done on a bed or a table, and so many patients can be cured just in any office if you've made the diagnosis correctly. Okay, and I'm making my appointment today. I really am. Okay, here is where you can see these world specialists in vertigo. If you, a friend, a family member, anyone has been suffering with this, you don't have to suffer anymore. Uh, the number on your screen, 1-800-ALVARADO, and uh, you guys have a pretty big waiting list to get in? Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. Dr. Russell and I both see patients, so uh, and we prioritize vertigo. This is such a bad feeling, as you know, that we uh, see patients the same day if they're having a spinning attack. So. Yeah, uh, two words for it, hella scary. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys. So <laughs> good to have you on oh, today and uh, hopefully we can help a lot of people. Sounds great. Sounds Thanks wonderful. All right, San Diego Living coming right back.